Yep, that's me. My name is Spade, and, well, I'm a spade. I'm an object, and I live in a world where everyone is pretty much an object of some kind. I live in a small apartment with my sister, Bucket. It's kind of a crummy place, but it's all she can afford. I mean, all I can afford. Regardless, this is the story of how my life changed for the worst. Oh, hey, Hallhead. You back from work? <sighs> Don't call me that. Hey, Hallhead. When are you gonna buy me a new couch? What's wrong with this couch? It's not soft or bounceable. It's hard and rough. Oh, good old egotistical, cynical, picky spade. What possible reason would you want a new couch? Well, I'm plastic, fragile, bendable. You don't want a couch with a concrete texture folding you back like paper. Oh, sure. I'll buy you a new one once you finally get out of this slum and get a job. Uh, hello? Can you stop watching that? Could you stop talking to me? Could you be nice? Could you be less obnoxious? Do you seriously think everything is just going to be handed down to you? Here's some more nachos handed down to you, Spade. Oh, thank you, dear Map. Nachos are my favorite food. What, what are you doing, Map? Oh, hey, Bucket. I, I was just helping out Spade. Poor him. He can't do anything with the dreaded case of the lazy. That's why you're my best friend, Map. Unlike Hollowhead, you can actually be of use. Okay, that's it. Map, I would kindly ask you to leave my apartment. I would like to have a little chat with Spade. No, our apartment. You are not the one paying rent around here, dimwit. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to survive on your own, no arms. <gasps> you take that back. Okay, sure. I'll stop talking about the pathetic no-arms who thought she could achieve her dreams, but instead is stuck here with me like the pathetic failure that she is. Uh, Spade, you really might wanna- what? She gets boiled like this all the time. It's not like she's gonna- <laughs> My handle. Hey, hey, hey! You can't do this! P please, I'm sorry. You'll be sorry when you get a job, bub! Well, gosh darn, I sure did dig up some trouble! <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're homeless! <gasps> like me! <sighs> I must have gotten on our nerves a bit too much. Mm. Wait, does she seriously pay for all the rent? Wh no! Yes. You need to find a job, dude. Like me! I know, I know. Alright, if she thinks I'm incapable of doing anything... Like me! Then I'll show her that I'm not some deadweight simpleton like she says I am. Come on, Map, we'll show her! Let's find ourselves a job! Yeah! Ah! <sighs>
We spent all day and all night looking for a job, and we found nothing! Wait. <gasps> Spade, are you? You're a map. Th that's it. Okay, you can you can show me where a job is. Yeah, please please show me where a job is. I, I Spade, I'm a prop map, not an atlas. I'm just decorations for a pirate-themed birthday party. I mean, wh where does this X go? Huh? Where does it go? Well, I mean, usually X marks the spot. So wait, why are we at a bar again? Well, I have a lead. I know a guy in here who knows everywhere and everyone. You'll probably remember him. He was big news a long time ago. Hey! Yellow Pages! How are- Well, you, what do you want? Well, I was wondering if you could help me with- The last thing I can do now is help you, friend. I'm a waste. Just a compilation of old business listing no one cares about. I've been replaced by something bigger and better than me. Something called Internet. I have no reason to exist, so I just drown my sorrows, trying to so damn hard to forget who I am. But I never can, and I never will. Look, Fifty Shades of Yellow, I just want to know where a job is. Oh, you want a job, huh? There's a place down there by the road that's always looking for people. It looks like a dome. You can't miss it. A dome? It spade? I don't like the look of this place. Oh, come on. What's so ominous about a suspicious dome house? And look, it says here, hiring desperate and depressed individuals with nothing to lose and will not sue me. Uh, she's friendly. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if the doorbell was a trap door? <laughs> yeah, it would. Oh, map, I hate it when you're right. <gasps> oh, it's just a bunch of simpletons with the X and Y chromosome. What c chromosome? Watch out, Spade. I think she's speaking Canadian. Yeah, and who are you supposed to be? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Professor Rubber, and this is my laboratory. Hmm, I've seen better drawn. Well, uh, anyway, we are two desperate and depressed individuals looking for a job. Oh, wow. Really? I mean, <clears throat> um, you're not cops, are you? Wh no Okay, S sorry, I get paranoid sometimes being locked in here for weeks. Wait, weeks? S moving on. For as long as I can remember. I have devoted myself to the art of science, reaching for the knowledge of unknown. However, if I am to fulfill my dream of finding that unknown, I need the assistance of volunteers to test my inventions. H who are you? I'm a nuke. Don't get too close to me though. World War 3 can easily start if you touch me. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, sign me up. Oh yeah. This is the life. What, what the t Oh, of course. What? Hey, Hallhead, guess what? I just got a job! Do you think I could care less? No, but seriously, I got this job at this place- And what? Do you think I'm just gonna let you in after what you said to me? B but I- Have fun in the real world, Bob! Oh, come on! Oh, damn it. Spade, map, come this way. This is my latest invention. It's my Molecule Manipulator Device, or the MMD for short. It's capable of zapping something, and hopefully someone, to the size of a peanut. But I'm allergic to peanuts. So wait, you said hopefully someone. So does that mean that one of us is gonna have to test it or else we get fired? Mm-hmm. Damn it. Well, I might as well give it a shot. Oh uh, wait, I don't think this is such a good idea. Well then go. I'm not doing this for you, Map. Fire up, Doc. Wait, something's gone wrong. Wait, wait, what? S 
spade? Oh, my head. Huh. Fascinating. The laser seems to have not caused any noticeable effects. Thank God no lawsuits. What the... Where am I? Oh! Bucket! It's you! Oh, look, <laughs> I I'm sorry for what I said, alright? I, I didn't mean it. Y you know how I am. Quite ironic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what? You called me a pathetic no-arms who couldn't achieve her dreams. Wait, no, Don't I lie to me. We all know that you said it. Funny how ironic it is now, isn't it? Alright, I I'm sorry. I I'm full of myself, I admit it. You weren't, you weren't saying, saying that, that about Bucket. Bucket. You, you were saying, saying that, that about, about yourself. yourself. Even you know that you're a failure. Spade, are you there? Are you- Look, the MMD may have had a reverse effect on Spage, which had him grow in tremendous size. So, instead of dealing with the problem, let's just leave, change our names, and move to Russia. All right, men, fire! Chief, our attempts to apprehend the situation have failed. What do we do? Uh, what did you say? I think he's speaking Canadian, sir. Spade, I told you- Oh, hello? Hello. Are you the sibling of Spade? I'm his boss. Wait, Spade actually got a job? Wow. You need to come with us! M map w What's going on? Now, we don't want you to overreact, but we might need you to help us with something relating to your brother. Let me guess, Miss Labcoat. A crazy accident happened, there was a big explosion, and now Spade is destroying the city as we speak, right? <laughs> no, but seriously, what did he do? So, uh, yeah. You were right. <laughs> oh, my plastic factory. Now, look. Whoa. We're gonna fix this right now! Will you let me speak? Okay. I have fixed the MMD so it'll return Spade to his original size. All we have to do is get Spade to be in an idle position without interference. An idle position? How are we gonna make someone like Spade stand still? <sighs> I just only wanted to give him nachos. Wait. Nachos are my favorite food. <gasps> Wait, guys! I have a plan. Yes, this feels so good, but why do I feel like something's missing? <gasps> yes! Ugh. Okay, so that should hold Spade for about, uh, two seconds. Okay, science gate shoot. Oh no. So I've got two tickets to Russia. Fake names and passports, and oh crap, I forgot! Oh. Ah! Fuck it, no! <gasps> Spade! It, it's me! Bucket! Well, look who it is. Good old No Arms. 
How about I take away your legs, too? No! Ah, Speed, look. I'm sorry for kicking you out so rudely. But, but you were just being incompetent. I just want you to be a better person. Ah! Ah, hey! Speed! Wouldn't you consider that ripping off your sister's leg isn't even a tad bit messed up? Uh, maybe? Well, it is. I've seen all of this, and you're right. Bucket did kick you out and reject you when you tried to change. But you need to understand that what you're doing now isn't gonna fix anything. Instead of trying to prove her wrong, why not prove yourself wrong? Uh, you're right. It's not your fault, Bucket. It's... it's mine. Guys? Spade! Uh, thank goodness you're alright. Well, in that case, everything is returned to normal. What? No, it hasn't! He's tiny now! Whoa. I may not be the size of a peanut, but I am shorter. Hey, science lady! When am I gonna get my paycheck? <laughs> uh, Map, two things. One, sorry for hitting you, and two, I hate it when you're right. And Bucket, Don't I- Don't say anything! I'm sorry. I, I didn't think you were serious about getting a job. And now I feel like I've made everything worse and- <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm the one who said those things to you, sis. You may not have arms, but who needs these anyway? When you've got a good heart. I'm still better though. Ah, uh, shut up. Ah. <sighs> I'M BURNING ALIVE! I do funny scream. Oh, oh no, Broccoli got scared. Oh no. <laughs>